It's got the bottom third of the order due up. Carlos Santana, Emmanuel Rivera, and Michael A. Taylor. Ground ball right side. Altuve deep in the shift. Will make the play on Santana. And there's one away. <laughs> this ball <laughs> into right field. Kyle Tucker a long run. Hey, Tuck makes a play. <laughs> kind of reaching out at the last second. And Michael A. Taylor will bat. Other notable paces offensively. Yuli Gurriel on a pace for 45 doubles. Altuve's on pace for a 30 home run season. That doesn't even factor in that he was on the injured list. Missed a couple of weeks. That went in 3-0. What are we doing? Vic Carapaza. Vic Carapaza, get back behind the plate. This is ridiculous. There is no way anybody is throwing at Michael A. Taylor. And you're going to go talk to the Astros' closer? This analysis is the difference between rules correct and situationally prudent. Carapaza elected to call in the other umpires to see if they felt there was intent here in a 7-3 game in the ninth. Oh, man. Way to go, Vic. That, that, congratulations on that. That is a ridiculous warning. Good job by Baldy going out there, making sure that his pitcher stays in the game. This is just getting worse for Vic Carapaza. That's embarrassing. Presley gets tossed after warnings are issued on a 2-0 pitch in the ninth inning of a 7-3 game with two outs in the nine hitter. With teams that don't have history, Jordan got hit on a slider. This is. I'm going to be quiet now. Ryan Presley is heated. Oh, it should be. Understandably so. No reason for that oh. ejection. I don't blame Presley for trying to go after him. And this is all unnecessary. Completely. Presley throws two pitches inside to Taylor. Two Astros batters were hit earlier in the game, including one in the top of the ninth, and we get warnings. Remember, you can issue warnings at any time, even if it's not intentional, and that arguing a warning is ground for ejection. Carapaza tells Presley you can't argue warnings before ejecting him. So we have a situation where the call to warn as well as the call to eject are both supported by the rules. But are they supported from a game management standpoint? Some people would call it common sense. Crew also, you've got Ed Hickox and Jerry Meals who have been in the game for 20 plus years. I'm not sure why they gave in to that idea of giving warnings. Situationally, we are in the bottom of the ninth, so what's the warning actually doing? We know it's a rules correct, but is it a situationally correct? I'm not privy to any heads up for these teams, so I don't know anything more, but what I do know is Houston's catcher does a remarkable job at trying to save his pitcher. Catcher Maldonado impresses me more than anyone else on the field right now. He's both helping the umpire whose decision to warn is definitely interesting by trying to get the pitcher away and his teammate as well by trying to get the pitcher away. So the Astros will have to try and bring in a pitcher here who will get as much time as they need to warm up. Maton was getting... In sum, and I'm really sorry about this ahead of time, Vic thinks that Ryan thinks... It's now or never. The umpires get together and exit with suspicious minds to issue warnings to tell everyone don't be cruel and head off any future pitch that could be a devil in disguise. Ryan gets all shook up and despite Martin's attempt to get Ryan to engage in a little less conversation, Ryan's words shake, rattle, and roll Vic, who sees him as a hound dog and ejects him to the jailhouse. Rock. We're going to have a pitching change here. 